So for the for a little while in the 20th century, once we had Einstein's equation of gravity, mm -hmm. the universe could be expanding or contracting within that equation. The equation okay. didn't distinguish one or the other. Okay. Observations showed we're expanding. Right. Now we can ask, will we expand forever or will it one day slow down, stop and contract? Okay. We make more observations and we show, no, there's not enough gravity to halt that expansion. Right. It will expand forever. Once we learned it would expand forever, then we asked, what is the long-term profile of the universe? Well, the temperature will get further and further diluted as space expands, oh. space-time expands. Right. Because all that energy used to be concentrated here, and now it's half, and then a third, and a tenth. So the temperature it eventually it dissipates. It, right. yeah, it dissipates. That's a good way to say it. The, the intensity of energy dissipates. The temperature of the universe drops, right. and it'll never come back. So, And all the stars will die and not get regenerated. Because there's no, everything will separate from each other. Mm. And so gas clouds will make their final stars and that's it. So then the stars will ultimately burn out one by one as the sky goes dark. Thus, the universe ends with the wind. Not in fire, but in ice. And not with a bang, but with a whimper. That's kind of sad for the universe.